here's an article from theguardian.co.uk on August the 13th, 2008. And I'm going to read this the way it's presented to the public, and you should really stop and think. This means you. The battlefield's about you, not for people just over there. Everything that created is to be used on, and is being used on, the public. It says, brain will be battlefield of future one's U.S. intelligence report. The human brain could become a battlefield in future wars. A new report predicts including pharmacological landmines and drones directed by mind control. By Ian Sample from The Guardian. Rapid advances in neuroscience could have a dramatic impact on national security and the way in which future wars are fought, U.S. intelligence officials have been told. In a report commissioned by the Defense Intelligence Agency, leading scientists were asked to examine how a greater understanding of the brain over the next 20 years is likely to drive the development of new medicines and technologies. Now, I've said over and over, whenever they announce something, they've done it. And generally, they've done it long ago because we're kept really in the past all the time. That's how you keep control of power. We get a fake history, a fake reality for the time we live in, because all the stuff they're working on, like Dolly the Sheep, was done long, long before Dolly came along, and perfected too. To continue, they found several areas in which progress could have a profound impact, including behavior-altering drugs, while they use that on us anyway, Scanners that can interpret a person's state of mind, they do that with us too at airports, etc. And devices capable of boosting senses such as hearing and vision, and that's been done in experiments back in the 50s. On the battlefield, bullets may be replaced with pharmacological landmines while they're doing that with the chemical sprays they dump on us across the planet every day. They release drugs to incapacitate soldiers in contact, while scanners and other electronic devices could be developed to identify suspects from their brain activity and even disrupt their ability to tell lies when questioned, the report says. See, this is all about the public. This is not about people on battlefield. See, the world is the battlefield. To understand, the world is a battlefield for the psychopaths who rule it. The concept of torture could also be altered by products in this market. It's possible that someday there could be a technique developed to extract information from a prisoner that does not have any lasting side effects, the report states. The report highlights one electronic technique called transcranial direct current stimulation, which involves using electrical pulses to interfere with the firing of neurons in the brain and has been shown to delay a person's ability to tell a lie. That device has been used in the Soviet Union in schools for years. Drugs could also be used to enhance the performance of military personnel. They're doing that already. There's already anecdotal evidence of troops using the narcolepsy drug modafinil and Ritalin, which is prescribed for attention deficit disorder to boost their performance. Well, personally, I think anybody in the military has already got attention deficit disorder in this day and age because they're all guinea pigs. Future drugs developed to boost the cognitive faculties of people with dementia are likely to be used in a similar way, the report adds. Well, that's already been used for memory enhancement. So this is given out as though they're going to do all this in the future. They're doing it. They've been doing it for years. It says greater understanding of the brain's working is also expected to usher in new devices that link directly to the brain, either to allow operators to control machinery with their minds, such as flying unmanned reconnaissance drones, or to boost their natural senses. There's a movie came out in the 70s, I think it was. It was called, I think it was called Blue Thunder. And it was about an advanced type of helicopter that had all kinds of weaponry, gizmos on them, that would be used to patrol American cities. And it showed you how, even by directing your eyes, you can make the thing fly left or right, up and down and all the rest of it. This is old stuff here, so why are they pushing this stuff out to the front? It's a sort of tongue-in-cheek joke because they're using all this stuff already on the general public. It says here, for example, a video from a person's glasses or audio recorded from a headset could be processed by a computer to help search for relevant information. 
Experiments indicate that the advantages of these devices are such that human operators will be greatly enhanced for things like photo reconnaissance and so on. Kit Green, who, Scott, who chaired the report for the committee, said, the report warns that, one, that while the U.S. and other Western nations might now consider themselves at the forefront of neuroscience, that is likely to change as other countries ramp up their computing capabilities. Unless security services can monitor progress internationally, they risk major, even catastrophic intelligence failures in the years ahead, the report warns. In the intelligence community, there's an extremely small number of people who understand the science, and without that, it's going to be impossible to predict surprises. This is a black hole that needs to be filled with light. I like that little Masonic part at the end. Green, Green told the Guardian, Mr. Green. <laughs> but anyway, what they're really telling you is that they have to make it more 